Imagine an ancient civilization, thousands of years ago, drilling precise holes through solid granite with an accuracy that rivals modern technology. How did they do it? Could they have had advanced tools that have since been lost to history? Across the world, from the pyramids of Egypt to the ruins of Mesoamerica, we find mysterious drill holes in some of the hardest stones known to man. These artifacts have sparked intense debates. Mainstream archaeology suggests that simple copper tools, sand, and sheer human effort were enough to create these precision cuts. But some researchers argue otherwise, claiming that these drill marks show signs of advanced, high-speed drilling techniques that shouldn't have existed in the ancient world. Take, for example, the drill holes found in the granite blocks of ancient Egypt. The spiral grooves left inside these holes resemble the kind of cutting marks made by modern industrial drills. Then, there's evidence from ancient China, where deep boreholes were drilled thousands of feet into the earth, using methods that still baffle engineers today. Even in the Americas, artifacts from the Maya and Inca civilizations suggest drilling techniques that were far ahead of their time. Could these remarkable feats have been accomplished using lost tools or forgotten technologies? Some theorists believe ancient civilizations might have possessed knowledge of machinery or tools that were wiped from history, perhaps even inherited from an older unknown civilization. Others believe these achievements can be explained by human ingenuity and time-consuming manual labor. In this video, we'll explore the hard evidence of ancient drilling, examine competing theories, and see if modern experiments can replicate these techniques. Were ancient people capable of feats we still struggle to explain? Or have we simply underestimated their skill? The idea that ancient civilizations mastered advanced drilling techniques isn't just speculation. It's backed by physical evidence found in multiple locations around the world. Perhaps the most famous and controversial examples of ancient drilling come from Egypt. In sites like Abu Sur and the Great Pyramid Complex, we find perfectly round holes drilled into granite, basalt, and diorite. Stones so hard that even today, they require diamond-tipped tools to cut efficiently. What's even more shocking is the spiral grooves left inside these holes, which resemble marks made by high-speed rotary drills. Egyptologists argue that these holes were made using copper tube drills combined with abrasive sand and water rotated manually over time. But skeptics question whether this method could have achieved the depth and uniformity seen in some of these drill marks. Could the Egyptians have had access to more advanced tools, perhaps even something resembling modern core drills? Thousands of years before the modern oil industry, the ancient Chinese were drilling boreholes over 4,800 feet deep a feat that even early industrial age engineers struggled to achieve. These wells, used to extract brine for salt production, were created using percussion drilling, where a heavy iron bit was repeatedly dropped into the earth to crush through rock layers. While this technique is acknowledged by historians, some researchers suggest that the precision of these ancient boreholes indicates a level of efficiency that may have required more advanced tools than originally thought. Could the Chinese have refined drilling methods far beyond what mainstream archaeology gives them credit for? In Mesoamerican and Andean cultures, we also find evidence of advanced drilling. Some of the most puzzling artifacts come from Tiwanaku in Bolivia, where stone blocks show clean, deep holes that appear too precise to have been made with simple stone tools. Similarly, in Mexico, Olmec jade artifacts reveal tiny drilled holes in one of the hardest minerals on Earth, a task that would be incredibly difficult even with modern equipment. Archaeologists suggest that these civilizations used rotating drills made of hard stone or copper with quartz sand abrasives. But some researchers argue that the speed and depth of the holes suggest something more, possibly a lost technology that enabled faster, cleaner drilling. 
Do these examples prove that ancient civilizations had high-speed drills or advanced tools that were lost to time? Or were these impressive feats simply the result of incredible patience, craftsmanship, and ingenious use of materials? If mainstream archaeology tells us that ancient civilizations only had simple copper or stone tools, then how do we explain the precision and efficiency of their drilling techniques? Some researchers believe the answer lies in lost technologies, advanced tools and methods that were either forgotten over time or deliberately erased from history. So, let's examine some of the theories surrounding lost ancient technologies and whether they could explain these mysterious drilling techniques. One of the most widely debated theories is that ancient civilizations may have had access to metal tools far more advanced than we currently acknowledge. While mainstream historians believe that copper and bronze were the primary materials used for drilling, some researchers argue that early blacksmiths may have experimented with harder metals, such as high carbon steel or even an unknown alloy that has since disappeared. Supporters of this idea point to ancient artifacts like the Iron Pillar of Delhi, a rust-resistant metal structure over 1,600 years old, as evidence that advanced metallurgy existed in the distant past. If early civilizations had mastered stronger metals, could they have created durable drill bits capable of cutting through even the hardest stone? Another intriguing theory suggests that ancient civilizations might have developed a form of high-speed rotary drilling, possibly using mechanical or even water-powered devices. Some claim that the spiral grooves found in ancient Egyptian drill cores resemble those made by modern high-speed drills, leading to speculation that ancient engineers had developed an early lathe or geared drilling mechanism. While no direct evidence of such machines has been discovered, some point to ancient depictions of mysterious contraptions in Egyptian reliefs and Mesopotamian carvings as possible hints that more advanced machinery once existed. Perhaps the most unconventional theory suggests that ancient civilizations may have used sound waves or vibrations to aid in drilling. This idea is based on accounts of Tibetan monks allegedly using sound to levitate stones, as well as studies showing that sound frequencies can be used to cut through materials. Some fringe researchers speculate that harmonic resonance or ultrasonic frequencies could have played a role in ancient stonework, allowing for more precise and effortless drilling. Although this theory lacks concrete evidence, it continues to be a topic of interest for those who believe that ancient civilizations may have harnessed forces we still don't fully understand. Or could ancient drilling techniques be a remnant of knowledge inherited from an even older, forgotten civilization? Some alternative history researchers suggest that highly advanced societies, such as the mythical Atlantis or another pre-Ice Age culture, developed sophisticated technologies long before recorded history began. When these civilizations were lost, so was their knowledge, leaving later cultures to reverse engineer their techniques without fully understanding them. While this theory is highly controversial, it raises an interesting question. Are the unexplained drilling marks we see today the result of early civilizations figuring things out on their own, or are they fragments of a lost technological legacy? If ancient civilizations didn't have advanced tools, could they have achieved these precise drill holes using only primitive techniques? To find out, researchers have attempted to applicate ancient drilling methods using tools that were supposedly available at the time. One of the most common explanations for ancient drilling, especially in Egypt, is the use of copper tube drills with quartz sand as an abrasive. To test this, engineers and archaeologists have conducted controlled experiments by rotating a copper tube against granite, using sand and water to grind through the stone. The results? It works but very slowly. Some experiments showed that drilling even a few inches into granite could take days or even weeks of constant effort. Additionally, the grooves inside ancient Egyptian drill cores 
suggest a much faster rotation speed than what could be achieved by hand. Could ancient workers really have spent months on a single hole? Or did they have a way to increase speed and efficiency? Another method tested is the bow drill, which uses a wooden bow to rapidly rotate a drill bit. While this technique is effective for softer materials like wood and bone, it struggles to produce the deep, clean holes seen in granite and basalt. Some researchers speculate that a geared mechanism or water-powered drill might have been used instead, but no direct evidence of such machines has been found. One of the most puzzling aspects of ancient drill marks is the spiral groove pattern found inside some holes. To match these grooves, modern researchers have used diamond-tipped drills and high-speed lathes, suggesting that only a rapid rotational drilling process could have produced similar results. If ancient civilizations achieved this effect, how did they do it without modern machinery? So far, experimental archaeology has shown that ancient drilling was possible with primitive tools, but it was extremely slow and inefficient. This leaves us with two possibilities. Either ancient civilizations had endless patience and manpower, or they used an unknown method that made the process significantly faster. If we want to understand how ancient civilizations drilled through solid rock, the best place to start is the drill marks themselves. By analyzing the grooves, depths, and textures of these holes under a microscope, researchers can determine what kind of tools and techniques were likely used. One of the most famous studies on ancient drilling was conducted by British engineer Flinders Petrie, who examined drill cores from ancient Egyptian sites in the late 19th century. He noticed something strange. The grooves left inside the granite cores suggested a rapid, consistent cutting motion, almost as if they had been drilled using a high-speed rotary tool. More recent analyses using electron microscopes have shown similar results. In some cases, the grooves appear so evenly spaced that they suggest a level of precision difficult to achieve with hand-powered tools. The most controversial part, some drill cores suggest a feed rate, the depth cut per rotation, that is significantly higher than what copper and sand drilling should have been capable of. To better understand the drill marks, researchers have compared them to modern machining techniques some of the closest matches have been found in mechanized rotary drilling, which uses consistent high-speed rotation and downward pressure to create deep, precise holes. Does this mean ancient civilizations had access to something similar? Not necessarily, but it does raise questions about whether they had developed an early form of mechanical drilling that we have yet to uncover. Mainstream archaeologists argue that these marks can still be explained by simple tools and a lot of patience. They suggest that variations in drilling speeds, combined with thousands of hours of labor, could create similar patterns over time. But alternative researchers point to irregularities in the grooves that hint at something more. Some drill marks have a consistent helical pattern, almost as if a geared mechanism was used Others show smooth, high-speed cutting marks, inconsistent with crude, hand-powered drills. So, what's the truth? Are these drill marks just the result of extraordinary craftsmanship, or do they suggest that ancient civilizations had a lost tool or technique that we have yet to rediscover? Next, let's explore why these advanced drilling techniques were so important, not just for engineering, but for the cultural and religious significance they held in ancient societies. Many of the drilled artifacts found in ancient sites weren't just functional, they were ceremonial. In Egypt, some drilled granite objects were placed in temples and tombs, possibly symbolizing a connection between the gods and the pharaohs. Could these precision drilled stones have been part of a lost religious ritual? where their construction mattered just as much as their appearance? In Mesoamerican cultures, drilled jade beads and pendants were reserved for royalty and priests. These stones were incredibly difficult to carve, 
yet ancient artisans managed to drill through them with extreme precision. Some researchers believe these objects weren't just decorative, but may have held spiritual energy or protective powers. Some ancient drill holes are found in massive monolithic structures, like those in Peru, Egypt, and even Stonehenge. Some researchers suggest these holes may have been used for astronomical alignments, sound resonance, or even energy transmission. One of the most mysterious examples comes from Puma Punku in Bolivia, where precision-cut stones with deep drill holes appear to fit together like puzzle pieces. The purpose of these holes remains unknown, but some theorists speculate they may have been part of a lost technological system, perhaps even involving mechanical assembly or unknown energy techniques. Even today, we struggle to understand how ancient cultures achieved such technical mastery. Were these drilled stones simply displays of craftsmanship? Or did they serve a deeper, more mysterious purpose? As we reach the end, let's step back and consider the bigger picture. What do these ancient drilling techniques really tell us? Were they simply the result of incredible skill and patience? Or do they hint at lost tools and forgotten knowledge? While mainstream archaeology suggests that copper tools, sand, and manpower were enough, some of the precision and speed seen in ancient drill marks remain difficult to explain. Whether these techniques were part of a lost technological legacy or just an overlooked aspect of human ingenuity, one thing is clear. Ancient civilizations were far more advanced than we often give them credit for. Could more discoveries one day change history? Only time will tell.